Chip Air 1000 here. Let's go fishing. Okay guys, so I just went past the campsite, campgrounds, right back over there. Seems to be a lot of people there. So I stopped here to take a break and uh, I see some fish jumping over in here. So I'm going to throw my line out here for a few minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure my island's going to be flooded. The water's up. So I may go up in here and find a place to, to tie off the boat. And all I need is two trees to set up the hammock. If I can't do that, then, you know, I brought my sleeping pad. So, I'll be camping on the boat. But, we'll just see. So, we'll throw my line in here for a few minutes and we'll see what happens. Uh, I may go on up there a little bit. There wasn't anybody up there by that shelter. So, but... I need two trees. So, I'm going to see if I can find a couple trees up there. If not, that's where I'll... That's where I'll uh, sleep on the boat tonight. I'll just tie off right in there. So uh, let me grab a fishing rod here and see what we can do. Okay, guys. So we come up here where we brought the boat in last year. And I made some ravioli here on this picnic table. The shelter is right through them trees right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the shelter. There's nobody here. Usually, people would camp out up there on that flat flat area up in there. No trees. But, I have a telephone pole here. Well, it used to be a light pole. And I've got a tree right there. Uh, so, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm just going to go ahead and set my hammock up there. Uh, I mean, all they can do is tell me to leave, right? So, you know, I mean... So I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. If anything, like I said, I brought my sleeping pad. I can sleep on the boat. That's not a big issue. Uh, you know, you can anchor out or tie off anywhere on this river you want. They can't say anything. So that's not a big deal. But right there's the boat. It's like a little tiny slip there. A little slip where you can put canoes and stuff in. I've seen people back boats in here, but... I don't think I'd want to try it. You could. Good four-wheel drive. I mean, I, I would have never tried it with a Toyota. I think the Chevy would be all right because it's high enough. There's some stumps there in the center of that. I'm like on the left side. There's like ruts. But, yeah. I, but, you know, with the boat ramp being right up here a mile, you know, no big deal. Uh, so, I'm going to set you up and you guys can watch me set up this... Uh, hammock for the second time <laughs> i'm not having a campfire tonight i did bring a little stove uh that we found at walmart so monkey bought me gave me some of my christmas presents early this year so that's pretty cool so all right guys uh let me get you set up All right, let's get the hammock out. All right, now I gotta run my ridge line and it'll pretty much be set up. I forgot that's got a bag and I had it in another bag over here. It's good to know because now I can use the other bag for my straps. So this one takes two ridge lines. I got this paracord that I got for Christmas last year. It was in that pack of stuff with the machete, which I brought. <coughs> and uh, 
had a couple other things flashlight I just put new flashlight or f batteries in it last night that's how good that flashlight works this monkey when we do night fishing she's she's got that flashlight on constantly every 10 seconds is on she's shining up in the trees and like the fish is in the, <coughs> is in the water so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it there's two ridge lines so I'm gonna run it down this side go around the tree once and then back through the other side and I'll tie it off up here <laughs> got two carabiners I think I'm going to use for my ridge line perfect so if I lay up here if I do fall I don't think I'll hit that but I'm gonna take my machete and chop that out a little bit there so it's not quite as pointy 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 it's right over there let me grab my machete I did bring my new axe too I don't know I was hoping I'd get back in some of these trees and have to use it I may use it on this I don't know we'll see how this does Not bad for just a cheap Ozark trail did pretty good let's try the axe not bad it's sharp enough wish I had a little longer handle but I think it'd be good for other stuff Cool. Well, camp set up. I did bring a rain fly in case it rains. It's not supposed to. But it's always a dark cloud follows me, and there's one here. But I got it with me just in case. All right. I think it's time to do a little fishing. So I am leaving these things hang down. If we do get some rain, it'll act as a drip line. Hopefully, the water will run down here, not in. To where I'm at same way over here um, but I may cut me off a little piece of that that paracord and go ahead and put a couple drip lines on there and maybe one here but anyway this is one of my Christmas presents monkey got for me this is a Walmart thing, outdoor products, lifetime guarantee. Um, it's 30 liters. I said it on here somewhere. Uh, I believe it's 30 liter bag. Uh, I got 13 pounds in it, so yeah, I didn't bring the tag. I was gonna bring the tag and tell you about it a little bit more, but it's $26 at Walmart. So it's not a big one, and then again, it's not a little one. Like I said, it is uh, 30 liters. I've seen it on here somewhere. But, I mean, it's got everything I need. It comes with the water bottle. Um, I did bring some water. I was going to fill that up too, but uh, I'm only going to really need water. i got plenty of uh, Coke, Coca-Cola with me. And I brought enough water to make, I'm just going to make for supper and for breakfast. 
couple of these mountain house things which guys I mean I need to get a food dehydrator 18 bucks for two of these things but there's my breakfast my supper's in there I think it's beef beef stroganoff but yeah I thought I seen on here somewhere where it said 30 liters but so I mean there's you know pockets all over it there's three sections in here a pocket in there a pocket here uh, you know for my water bottle there's a pocket so and it's got the you know the strap that comes around here as well so that's one of my one of my Christmas presents so yeah uh, also she got me something else I had already mentioned it we got one of them little stoves that's what this is for which this was down inside of here as well <coughs> we'll be trying that out later though right now I think I'm gonna do a little fishing I might just fish right off this dock for now Fish on. Little fish. A bluegill. Almost right size, just a little small. I did bring a fillet knife. Um, I mean, he'd be big enough to eat, but I'd need about four of them. So. I got kind of a big hook on here. I'm just using night crawlers, Canadian night crawlers. Hey, eh? that one's for monkey. Um, so I've been getting hits, but they've been taking my bait. So I figured that wasn't very big fish. All right, recast. I think I'm gonna make another cast or two, and then we'll uh, we'll make supper, grab a bite to eat, and I think I'll head down. The river there a little bit there were biting earlier um, but kind of like this but they're going to start biting so i'm going to grab me a bite as soon as i make a couple more casts then we'll head down the river fish number two still got some worm on this was just one cast so i'm going to cast until the worm's gone then i'll make my food fish number three Another bluegill. I don't know how my phone's going off. I, I don't have service. <laughs> Still a tiny piece of worm on here. Let's go for fish number four and then we'll eat. I know I keep saying that, but that's what fishermen do. Early to bed, early to rise, fish like hell makeup lies this is the stove I got it didn't come with this bag I don't know if it was supposed to it was open and the other one had been open but taped back up so I, I went ahead and got this it was 20 bucks so uh, but it's it's a Coleman peak it was only $20 I got this this is a dual fuel you can use propane or uh, what's the other one butane you can use propane or butane on this <coughs> so I got this <coughs> this is a propane butane mix this was only like eight dollars for this can and it is where did I see it at? Uh, 440 grams, 15 and a half ounces. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. Now this thing says, take 13 ounces of water. This is 16 ounce bottle, so I'll put all but maybe that much in it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ok, 
Okay, so let's get this on here. And let's get this to boiling. Oh yeah, that thing will crank. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Take this out, it says do not eat. What we got here, <coughs> beef stroganoff with noodles and savory cream sauce with mushrooms and onions, freeze dried. So, what we're gonna do once that comes to a boil, we'll pour, we'll pour it in here, seal it up, let it set for five minutes, open it back up, stir it up, and let it set for four more minutes. So. Then we're going to go do some more fishing up the river. I'm going to bring all my stuff with me except for the hammock. That way if somebody wants to decide they need it more than I do, then, you know, I'm going to be out about 30 bucks. Okay, so, like I said, this is just a bag I had. I kept some batteries in for cameras. Oops, lost my lid. Okay, let's... Crank her up and bring it to a boil. There it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a rolling boil. It's about three minutes. Maybe three and a half minutes. Didn't bring any gloves. So I'm gonna try to do this without hurting myself here. That worked. Then, good thing is I don't have any dishes to do. Get this stirred up. Looks like a lot of water to me. Smells good though. I haven't tried either one of these. So, all right, we'll seal this up. I'm gonna wait five minutes and then I'll stir it up. I'll bring you back, <coughs> I'll bring you back with me as soon as it's done we'll try it out all right so cool that stove fit right in this bag with the pots and pans and it sits right inside the pans uh yeah that got a little warm on that handle <laughs> so oh well you know uh never thought i should have went over and got my shirt but that's okay uh so it's actually been about five minutes now Now, well, it was five minutes, and then I stirred it, and then it's been about five more minutes. It's pretty thick. It smells good. Show you what it looks like there. Um, so the stove, you know, I was going to do those things like um, in its own video, but I don't think so because really, there's not much to review. Yeah screwed on the tank and you turn it on i mean you know what i'm saying it's just uh, uh i see guys making 15 minute videos out of something like that and to me i i don't know i don't want to waste you guys time you've seen a million of them so i just thought i'd do it in in this one just like this i was going to make these two separate videos but i'm just going to leave it all in here i've never tried it like i said mountain house adventure meals so as you can see the it's kind of changed a little bit the packaging but let's give this a shot but like i said it was 18 dollars. this was nine something you might as well say 10 bucks and the other one was eight something you might as well say nine bucks so you know that's 20 close to 20 dollars for two meals that's just you know they're raping people you know what i mean it's just because people like go you know camping and hunting and fishing they like to take these things with them I guess backpack, you know, this backpack was only 26 bucks plus tax. We'll say $27, less than 30 bucks. And it's great for a day hike or an overnighter. Um, you know, you're not going to go out for four or five nights because you're not going to fit a bunch of clothes in there. I, I did bring an extra change of clothes, two pairs of socks, 
you know, and stuff like that. Uh, jeans and another shirt, but I got them in a bag in the boat. But, you know, for an overnighter, it would be fine, you know. Um, you could put, you know, you can you, you can still fit a lot of stuff in there. You can fit a couple pairs of socks because, you know, when your feet get wet, that sucks. Let's give this a try. It's not bad. I mean, it's not the best I've ever had, but it's not bad. It's not worth 10 bucks, <laughs> no. There's little meat chunks in there. Does have a good flavor, gets two thumbs up, but man, the price is just, it's stupid on these mountain house. Um, they're not as good as the ones, the bigger, looks like a bigger pack, you know. I did some reviews on them that Monkey bought a bunch of them. And uh, not, it just doesn't seem as good as them, even though it is mountain house. But it's still, it's still good. It's just not worth 10 bucks. If you can catch them on sale or something and get them cheaper, go for it. Um, it says two servings. That's usually two cups. They usually consider a cup or something like this a serving. So it'll be good enough for me tonight. And uh, like I said, I did bring a fillet knife, so I may... I may, uh, if I catch a big fish, I may cook him up later. Um, we'll just have to see. Like I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm going to pack my gear up. I'm just going to leave my hammock there. And then we'll run down the river. We'll do some fishing down in there and see what happens. And then right up here, about a quarter mile, is where I can get uh, iffy service. And I'll send a monkey a message um, letting her know I'm okay. Hopefully it'll go through to her so she don't worry. Um, but, I mean, I, I got a notification earlier. It was Crazy Russian Hacker. I'm not even subscribed to him. And it went through. Really? <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me finish this. We're going to get back to doing some fishing. This is actually a fishing trip. Slash camping trip. But it's more about fishing than it is... Uh, then it is camping but we got three fish so far they count they're big enough they you, you, you I could have ate them but I don't like I'd rather clean one fish and have a great meal than clean you know six or seven fish to have a good meal especially when I got something to eat if I was hungry it'd be different yeah they'd be big enough to eat all right so let me finish this and we'll head down the river so I just wanted to add one more thing. Um, the good thing about this is it is waterproof. It is resealable. You can, uh, I mean, if you had to, if your day trip turned into a survival thing, you got a way to carry water. You got a way to, you know, pick berries and put stuff in here. Uh, that's not a $10 bag still. But, you know, hey, there's a tip for you. Let's go fishing. By the way, I am stuffed. Okay, guys, we're down here, just diagonal across from where the, the campgrounds are. This is my second cast, and I know it's getting dark, but I have night vision. I did bring some lights. I brought my lighted ball cap. I brought my lighted headband, so I've got plenty of light. Um, I think a little bit later here in a couple hours, I'll go up to where I can get some service, let, let Monkey know I'm okay. And then, uh, then I think we'll just fish off that pier there, maybe, that we was fishing at earlier where I caught the three bluegill. Uh, if they're biting, the rest of them are biting. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good hole up there. I was catching catfish last year out of there. Um, so, you know, boat's running good. I thought I was taking on water, but my little cooler's leaking, so... Uh, I got a drink I want to try out for later, but I don't want to do it, you know, when I'm driving a boat. I see a boat coming here. I better turn my nav lights on so he can see. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, just a fun night. You know, I always do miss Monkey on these trips because she loves to go camping and fishing. But, you know, it's something I like to do once a year. Just, you know, solo thing by myself. And uh, she understands that, so. 
got a boat here with no lights on. This guy's got lights on his boat, so. Oh, he's got lights. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of boaters today. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. Just doing some fishing. Hey, thank, thanks. No, not yet. I just got here. Thanks, guys. You too. That was nice. He stopped, made sure I was okay. So, because I didn't anchor, I just pulled right up here in the weeds <laughs> to hold the boat. <laughs> here, I'll turn the lights on. You'll see what I did. There we go. Yeah, I just pulled up here so I didn't have to fumble around with that anchor. <laughs> and uh, so he must have—he might have thought I was broke down or something. So, but that was nice of him to ask. Uh, of course, you know we—that's what good boaters do. Them air boaters—they don't care. You could be here upside down, they wouldn't say anything. Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. Don't be hating on me if you're an air boater, but. Around here, 90% of the time, that's what they do. They don't care. They'll, they'll like, you know, he slowed down when he seen that I was here, um, which I do too. When I go past that campgrounds, I slow down, especially if somebody's fishing. But, man, they'll just bust right past you full throttle. They don't care. Throwing water at you, they don't care. Not all of you, I understand that, but, you know, most of them do. All right, I'm gonna do some fishing. I don't know if you can see the bugs. The mosquitoes are starting to come out, but I did bring some mosquito spray, so I'll turn these lights off, that'll help. So I'll be back with you if I catch anything. Okay guys, we're back up here at the campsite. And it's 6.34. Went up, I sent Monkey a message. I don't know if it went through or not. I think it did, but I'm not sure. So hopefully she'll get it. She'll know I'm okay. Oh, pretty bright. So, anyway, I'm going to throw a line in, maybe two here in a little bit, uh, out there on the water. It's, I had the blue lights on, the nav lights and headlights. and I mean, it was just like the bugs were just everywhere, everywhere. Uh, so, I mean, just the light from the camera, they were just... All over the place so I thought I'd come back up here and just go ahead and fish for a few more hours maybe all night I don't know we'll see depends on if we start catching anything so I got my lighted hat on here so so that'll help and I also have my uh, wherever I put it also have my headband light because I may have to take his hat off because it's still hot out here guys it's like 70 77 right now 76 or something so so I got this guy and then I got my hat so cool all right let me get the lines in the water I got a rebate and also brought some um, beef livers I'm gonna try that here in a little bit We'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I've had some bites. I'm sitting on the picnic table. I brought my fishing rod. It's right here beside me. It's in the water, but I'm going to move the picnic table over there a little bit more. I don't want to go too close because I might <laughs> fall off in there. But This is what I brought. I may need to put my glasses on. They're getting dirty. Got a hold of monkey. Well, I went up there and sent her a message and then she messaged me back but I got it when I was down here <coughs> it's weird I can get them but I can't send them out from here so this is Smirnoff Ice Smash Strawberry and Lemon 23 and a half ounces one pint one pint and seven and a half ounces so, 
uh, it's 8% of alcohol by volume. I was going to bring a beer that I had never tried before, but all they had was just regular beers that, you know, like Budweiser and stuff like that. So I thought I'd try this. And I'm glad I don't drink anymore occasionally. But man, it was like, there was two of these were six bucks. And, um, a beer that wasn't this big, like a, a Budweiser Miller. Uh, they were, let's see, what, what are these? What's their ounces? They were 16 ounces or something like that. And they were, um, they were like five bucks. So I grabbed me one of these and let's try it. I remember, shit, just a couple years ago. Wow, I mean, I, I was buying them big, remember them big 40 ounce cans of Miller? I was buying them for like $3. <coughs> Three dollars a piece, two for four, two for four fifty. Let's try this. Whoa. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I'm gonna enjoy that. Uh, wish I would have got two. Wait, I did I have another one in here. <laughs> There's like two of these for the price of a beer. Heck yeah. But I got my fishing pole here, and then it's running out. I don't know what all you guys can see. And then it's running out straight down over that railing there. I just had a bite, but uh, I didn't get it in time. But so they're biting. I did put some. Uh, I did put some beef liver on now, so because uh, they weren't biting on the worms. So, but I've had a few hits. So, okay, guys. I'm not crazy, but just about a minute ago, right through them trees there on the other side of the river, I just seen two eyes walking, kind of like a human. Now, let me tell you something. It wasn't a bear. I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a, there's a gator there in the water. But over back in there, it was like it was peeking around trees at me. And I was shining my little light, so I went down the boat and got the big spotlight. This one here. Um, there's no land over there, guys. That's all like cypress swamp and a bear can't walk through there. A deer cannot walk through there. And a person cannot walk through there. And a person's eyes does not glow. I'm telling you, I seen it. This is no joke. I, you know what? Anything I film is real unless I tell you it was a joke. I'm being serious. It was right... See, there's a gator right there. In the edge of the water. But right through, right through there, right where my light's pointing. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in on this. There was two glowing eyes. Human's eyes don't glow. It was walking from right to left. Well, when I first noticed it, I kind of peeked out. Because I've, I've been watching this gator over here, right? So... It looked like it was like right there them trees right there it looked like come on focus it looked like it was peeking whatever it was come on focus it was peeking around that corner at me and then it started going that way like walking very slowly like it would look that way and then look back at me see that little glass thing down there that's a gator okay Shit. what the hell there we go. guys I am not kidding you 
I'll take you over there tomorrow and show you. See, that right there is a gator. That's a gator eye, you see. Whoops. Trying to find it again. Let me zoom out. Okay, right there. See, that's the eye of a gator. Now, let me tell you something. Whatever was... Where are we at? Whatever was back in there, them eyes was glowing red. And like I said, they were... It was going that way. And would stop and look at me, and I'd see both eyes. And this thing was tall, man. Focus. Focus. There we go. And it was back a good way. I'm not joking, guys. Focus. Okay, now it's not focusing. And then it just kind of, like, just kept walking. And then just kind of disappeared like it looked the other way and disappeared okay there goes the gator why is it moving you know it's been sitting there for over an hour because fishing you know fishing's been better so I've been watching this gator because I think they're cool but let me tell you something man this is no joke there was something out there and when it got right behind them trees there okay I, I seen it okay here we go right here is where I seen it like looking around from them two trees that big uh, v-shaped tree right there and that tree and then and it made no noise and then it got like behind but it was back farther you know what I mean it was back farther way back in there I'll show you tomorrow what I'm talking about you can't walk through there and then it came into this tree thicket and that's where I lost it at I know it wasn't deer and I know it wasn't a bear they can't walk through there I can't walk through there I'll show you tomorrow I just want to share that with you this I mean this is no joke if I see it again I'll try to get it on film but I'm telling you there was something back in there making no noise and it was definitely walking straight up and down because if it was a gator you see how the gators in the water there this was more like the eyes were like right up here see how high my light is yeah right there where that stick goes kind of diagonal right there that's that's about where the eyes were so you know, it could have been something crouched down, but that from here looks at least to be six, six feet, maybe seven, just right there. And that's where it was looking at me from. And it was going, going to the left. Amazing. Okay, guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit about what just happened. Man, I look blurry in here. Am I blurry? It should be okay. Got you on night vision. I've never been known to be one of the guys that gets spooked in the woods very much. <coughs> it happens. But a quarter mile down here, I don't know if you can hear them in the background. You know, the campgrounds, there's a lot of people down there. They're having a birthday party because when, when we were down there fishing, uh, when, I, when that guy asked me if we were okay, um... I said, yeah, right after I shut that off, I heard him singing happy birthday to someone. Uh, so the woods are full of people down that way. And I can see a light and a fire going. and uh, So you can hear them talking and stuff. So it's not like I'm going to be spooked. I mean, I mean, 50 yards over here is a shelter, you know. Uh, 
75 yards is, is a road that'll get me out of here. It's not a paved road, but I got a boat right here to get out of here. Um, I can't say that this spooked me per se because it's across the river, you know. But I can tell you something. I've spent a lot of time in the woods. A lot of time. I've seen a lot of deer in the woods. I've seen a lot of raccoons in the woods, up in the trees. I've seen a lot of possum up in the trees. And when you're that far away, and you're looking with your naked eye, and, and you're shining a light, a raccoon or a possum, um, even a deer, um, you, the, the eyes look real close together. Raccoon and possum kind of looks like one shiny thing. Unless you can zoom in on it with something like this camera. And then you'll see too. I'm telling you guys, this was not two, ear, two deer eyes staring at me. This... And it wasn't making a sound. This, this was not a deer. Now I haven't seen a bear after dark that far away um so i don't you know i don't even know if their eyes glow i know this was the area i had that bear encounter but i mean that bear was close enough he was right there you know i mean 20 25 feet away so i, you know, I knew it was a bear <laughs> it wasn't huge but after dark that far away i've never seen a bear in the headlights i've never seen a bear in a spotlight um i was using this little light where's that this little light here like i said i was watching that um Ooh, spooky oh right i was watching that that gator and uh and it just caught my eye that you know like something peeked around that corner and it was tall it was taller than a deer and if it was a bear back in there, I'm sure I would have heard it. And it would have had to be standing up on its hind legs the whole time. Now, I watched this thing for two to three minutes. <coughs> which doesn't sound long, but I mean, to me, it was like forever. And I was like, well, I, I, I got to go get the big spotlight. It was down, down in the boat. It was underneath the seat, okay, because I got plenty of light. So it was underneath the, the seat. So I got in the boat. And, uh... And I haven't seen it since. I mean, it's clear over there. It doesn't spook me, but it does bother me. What was it? You know, I've been down here five years now. I've never seen anything like that. I've been in the woods all my life. I've never seen anything like that. I can tell you what something is. If it was a bear, I'm sure I could tell you. But this had glowing red eyes when the light would hit it. Because I would move, like, the light over to see if I could see any more. Oh, maybe, you know... Maybe it was monkeys or something. I don't know what color their, their eyes are. But these, I mean, this was one thing. And it wasn't jumping from tree to tree. You know, like an animal would. This thing was walking. Okay. It would walk. See, it was peeking out at me. And then went back in. Then it came out, peeked out. And it walked. Then it looked away a couple of times and looked back at me. And then it would walk a little bit more until it got in that second bunch of trees. That's when I lost it. That's when I went and got the big spotlight. And I haven't seen it since. But after I shut you off the last clip, after I shut you off, there was a big crash over there. Okay? Like a tree had fallen. You know, and it's and it splashed. You know, water spike because it's water through there. And those people down there, I heard one guy say, what the fuck? fuck was that and i hollered down i said i heard it too i said it was in front of me he said what was it i said i don't know and then of course <laughs> somebody down there had to say must be bigfoot and they all started laughing which i laughed too i know there's been sightings in in, in the uh, everglades i don't think there's been any bigfoot bigfoot sightings here in citrus county florida uh, I I don't know. I mean, this is something that bothers me, but not in a spooky way. I probably should have told it in a spooky way, but I'm not really spooked out. 
because it was so far away. Now, if it would have been like, you know, to my left here, uh, that way, then I'd be a little concerned, but I probably would have heard it. I don't know. Then I would be really spooked out. I probably would have gotten a boat and went down by them campers and docked down there somewhere, you know. Uh, I'll show, like I said, in the morning, I'll show you. I haven't had a bite in two and a half hours. But probably because that gator, when they, when, when them gators swim around like a yank, you know, they, they scare the fish away. But that's okay. Uh, I'm enjoying nature. Um, you hear that owl? And right before that, too, the owls were going nuts over there. I didn't hear monkeys tonight. But the owls over in there were going nuts. And like a lot of times, if I shine the light, like up at the, where we go fishing up at the, the boat dock, <coughs> or, well, the boat ramp, <coughs> uh, when we go fishing up there, like when I shine the lights around there, sometimes it bothers them owls and they'll get to hooting and hollering and stuff. Um, but they were going crazy, you know. And I didn't think anything of it, and then all at once they got quiet. And then I know it wasn't a minute later is when I happened to notice them eyes. Because I just seen them for a split second. And I knew, you know, I seen them by that tree. So that's when I shined that light up there. And I didn't see them. I waited, you know, three or four seconds. And then all at once, like I said, it just, it, them eyes just, I seen one and then two looking right directly at me. I. I don't know, guys. Um, well, the more I'm talking to you now, I think I am getting spooked. Guys, I'm, if there's something over there, maybe there's something over here. Can Bigfoot swim? I don't know. I know a bear can swim, but I can tell you that wasn't no freaking bear. It would have been standing on its hind legs the whole time. It was walking. It wasn't jumping. It wasn't tripping. It was walking in a movement, you know, choreographed, I guess you could say, a deliberate movement slowly i've never seen like i said I've, I've been you know i started you know i grew up on 63 acres all woods and you know i started roaming the woods at eight nine years old and, and i'm telling you what and you know i started camping at 10 years old in the woods me and my friends get we went camping you know, I was 13, we just started going camping every weekend in the summer. And then we got to doing it in the wintertime and stuff. And, and I've never seen anything like that in my life. I have, like I said, I, you know, I've seen coons. I've seen possum. I've seen deer. That was none of them. Like I said, I haven't seen a bear in the lights at night. You know, I've seen a bear at night, but he was close enough to where, you know, I mean, I could see it. It was full moon. I could see it. But as far as that that far away, you know, that's probably, if I had to guess, it would be, that's, that's probably 800 feet. Oh, it would have to be, yeah. Um, I'm, I, let's just say 800 feet. You know, you see a deer in a car at 800 feet, you can pretty much see the body. You can tell. And usually when you shine a, a light in a deer's eyes, he won't look away, you know. This thing would look away and walk a little bit and then look at me and walk and... I don't know. Maybe there's something in my drink. I better open the second one now. But I just wanted to share that with you guys, you know. Like I said, I don't. I, I fake nothing. If I seen something, I'll tell you I seen it, and you can take it to the bank and cash it in, goddammit, because I'm telling you what, what I seen, I seen. Or, you know, in my paranormal videos, you know, what, what, um, you know, what the camera picks up, the camera picks up. That's why I would say, you know, what do you guys think? You know, I know what I think it may be, but I'm not going to 100% say that's what it is. It's a ghost or it's a, you know, I, I, I don't do that. Because everyone has their own opinions, I understand. But, you know, that's fake. No, I fake nothing. I fake absolutely nothing. If there's something on camera that was caught, or audio that was caught that I upload, that's what the device caught. You know, that's why I don't do a lot about 
like I'll tell you story times and stuff like that personal experiences but if it's not on audio or video I, I usually won't upload it because it's anybody could say I heard something okay but if it's caught on video or audio or audio from the video then you can say okay there was something caught there there was captured it was captured there now, I can tell you some stories and stuff personal experiences you know and that's another thing I don't make anything up if it's going to be a fictitious story I'm going to tell you you know okay look <laughs> we're going to tell you a spooky story but when I say it's true what I mean by that is this actually happened like this is true this actually happened I know what I seen I didn't get it on video but I'm so excited about it that, that I had to share it with you you know it's like yesterday when it, when I was working on the lights of the boat you guys saw them lights go out the switch was off I should have spun the camera around I was on the left side of the boat the opposite side of the switches so how that switch got flipped and I listened I didn't hear it but it got switched it was off and you guys seen my hands right there when they went off so I thought okay there must be a broken wire here and I happened to look over there and sure enough that switch was off true story you know that is true you guys seen them go off I should have spun the camera around showed you the switch was off I didn't my fault but sometimes you just you know you just don't think you're like oh okay whatever but I had my mind on other stuff and I'm thinking man it's broad daylight but the more I think about that too the more it's like man why didn't I spin that camera around sometimes you just don't do that hopefully this is not that blurry as it looks in here where's my glasses um, Okay, it doesn't look too bad with my glasses, but I don't have them on because that's why right there. I don't want, you know, somebody having seizures and suing me. Um, but seriously, because that could happen, you know. Uh, you know, monkeys, daughters real bad with seizures. Uh, flashing lights, cop lights, or, you know, you shine a light in her eyes, she can go into a seizure. But, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's, it, it just, that was just weird, man weird so maybe this just might be about a you know spending time with you guys and you know maybe i'll do a reflection you know you know you guys know what that is right when i reflect back on things i've never done one of them videos maybe i'll do one here in a couple minutes but right now i'm gonna finish this and grab another beat or well whatever it is smear it off I just heard a thump over there. Now sometimes a gator will do that, but not very often. But sometimes they'll make a thump if they, you know, try to get up on something and it breaks free. So I hear coyotes. That wasn't no coyote either. I've seen coyotes after dark. I do hear coyotes. That kind of spooks me out a little bit. Um, I've seen a lot of coyotes in my day, and I, I've never been attacked by them, even at night. But still, I don't want them around me. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Hopefully, I'll see it again. I keep looking, and I, you know, I haven't seen it, but hopefully, I will. I'll be back with you guys. I, I just wanted to share that with you and, and, and talk with you guys about it. Um, because it's just something else. Something else. On a lighter note, my battery's only down one bar on this camera. Um, the more times I charge it, I'm up to almost four hours on a charge now on that battery that um, they sent me. Remember the that person sent me? I forget who it was, but they, they said they had an extra one with a charger. And he sent it to me it was a big battery and uh when i first started charging it was about two hours 30 minutes and then two hours 33 minutes i don't know if you guys can hear that you guys hear that
coyotes are running that way. But, uh, so anyway, past couple times I noticed it was well over three hours. Last night when I was charging up, getting my stuff charged up, ready for tonight, uh, I noticed it, it was three hours and 56 minutes. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm down one bar I've got. Um, let's see. Put up on my glasses. I'll tell you how much <coughs> it's down to. <clears throat> when I first turned it on today, I think it was uh, three hours and 51 minutes. And right now I've got three hours left. But since I'm on night vision, that'll burn it up really quick if I use a lot of night shot. Um, so, wow. I've got a uh, 4K, man, really burns up a lot of, I brought a couple extra cards. I got a 64 gig card in here. I'm running 4K, I can only get an hour and 17 minutes out of it. I'm down to 14 minutes now. Then I'll have to be changing the card. Okay, I'm only running 30 frames per second too. I can go 60 and 4K. All right, guys, I'll be I'll be back with you. <laughs> okay, so since the last time I kicked you on, it was it's been almost two and a half hours. <coughs> People down here, I see their lights went out and their fires down. It's black through there and nobody's talking anymore. So, it, but it's still early. It's like 10:30 uh, or something. Uh, 10.36 Burger 1.9 Can I get a 10.36? That means the time Which is pretty freaking cool Because that's what I was just checking The time and it says 10.36 I know uh, It doesn't take much to amuse me See What the hell 10.36 You guys see that 10.36 but the CB guys will know what I'm talking about. Perk 1-9, can I get 10-36? And they'll tell you what time it is. Uh, okay, so... Uh, nothing uh, really strange has happened for about an, an hour now. Um, there was some noises over there. But it was more towards the water. I could hear some more wa some water stuff going on. Like, hang on. Things getting dewy here. Oh, my camera's all right. I don't have a moisture warning, so it should be okay. Uh, I th I think it may have been either a fish or a gator getting a fish or something like that. But okay, so before I shut it down for tonight, uh, I'll I'll kick you on when I get into the uh, shelter. Uh, yeah, hammock there. Okay, now it's getting weird. Over here, I know you can't see nothing, but over here, on my side of the river, this is no joke, it sounded like a tree was just pushed over. I swear to God, no shit, you know how, like an old dead tree. Okay, well, maybe I'm, you know, overthinking things, but that I did hear, maybe a tree just finally rotted and fell, you know, that's probably more like it, but, you know, after seeing them eyes, and hearing the things I've heard, hearing the things I've heard down here before, you know, now this was on my side of the river, so uh, just want to throw that in there. All right, what fishing trip camp out would be complete without a fire? I got this rappel here. Now let's make a fire. Check that out. And you're putting this on your bodies. Right? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, that stuff don't burn. 
this does. <laughs> okay, I thought we'd have a little bit of a fire anyway. So there you guys go. Uh, just burning some palm fronds laying around. Just thought I'd have a quick little fire. These will burn out in no time. Uh, somebody did what I usually do, and that's left a little bit of wood here. Uh, there's four pieces there, but we're not going to burn them because we don't really need the fire. We're just kind of having fun here, so we'll leave that for the next guy. So, there you go. There's our fire. All right. So, we're going back down to the camp. Hope you guys heard that. There's no campsites up in that area. And the nearest house is almost a mile away. And it's midnight. Well, we're going back down to the camp area. We was just up at the... Uh, shelter wanted to give a quick fire thing uh, there's of course the boat uh, there's the picnic table and there's where we will be sleeping tonight Ooh, glad I didn't trip over that that's an actual uh, see these trees that's a root from one of these trees I am guessing that one because there's a big piece of it there that's pretty cool but there's where, where we will be sleeping okay so set you down here for a second we'll set this stuff up here on the bench knock some stuff off <laughs> I don't know what that was should have had my hat light on I got my hat light or my hat on with the light but I don't have my hat light on okay so I think we're gonna go ahead and head on into that deal and uh, call it a night all right so I'm gonna put my sleeping bag in here I'm just gonna lay on top of it I'm not gonna lay in it it's too hot I may have to get my pad out, I don't know. I've never slept in this thing. Because remember, <laughs> I burnt my campsite now. Right. I'm not gonna leave my boots outside. I don't think I have too much to worry about snakes, but the spiders are still, are still, out here and active I've seen a bunch of them and that's what I'm worried about is spiders in my boots okay so zip this down a little bit this zipper there we go all right that did cool down um, I don't have to worry about the bugs anymore but I am going to zip it up I'll bring you guys inside with me so Let's go ahead and climb inside here. Okay, guys, so let's see, we got, what time is it? It's 12.31 at 65 degrees. So it's a beautiful night. I got a little pocket here to put my um, phone in. I should have tightened my you don't want to go too tight on these uh, bug nets because then it'll rip if you sag down too far. But I didn't tighten mine up enough to keep it up, but that's okay. I don't really need it, but you can't take it off. But, uh, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to try to go to sleep. And, yes, I'm keeping my camera in here with me. <laughs> so, I'm going to go to sleep and... Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Time to get out of my coffin. Time to get out of my hammock. And let's go get something to eat. Well, let's make something to eat.
Okay, so I decided I think I'm going to skip breakfast. It's a little late in the morning. I didn't want to get out of that thing. It's comfortable. Believe it or not, that thing is comfortable. So I'm going to skip breakfast. We'll go up here, do a little fishing, wait on Monkey to come and get us. So I'm going to get tore down here and get everything packed up. I still got to get down the boat, get my backpack so I can get everything put in it, get my trash picked up. We'll do a little bit of fishing. I just backed out we got a big old boat coming of course so i'm gonna wait until it goes by and then we're gonna put this down and start it up so primer bulb some throttle make sure it's in neutral some choke I told you guys I'd show you where I saw them eyes at. And they were right back in there. Beyond these trees, because they kept looking out from these trees here. Let's go up a little bit farther. Let's see, because we were we were right over there. That's where we were camped out. Okay, so. is walking from this bunch of trees right through here and, and the gator was sitting right over there in these things and as you can see how's the how's the deer gonna walk through that you can't I can't walk through there if the water's really low and it's been low for a couple weeks you can get through there but you'd have to have some big boots on. But, and then them, them eyes were up a good, probably seven feet. So, there's a squirrel. Squirrels can hop on them stumps and go around. I'm telling you guys, what I seen was back in here and it wasn't human, it wasn't a bear and it wasn't a deer all right well it's after 11 now i've been dicking around i forgot to show this to you so i thought i'd come back and show it to you so now i'm going to head back up towards the ramp <laughs> all right so i just came over here at the ramp there's the dock right there i was talking to some people that was loading their boat 
and uh, just caught my fourth fish. I didn't have you turned on. Sorry about that, but I did. Well, that's one today, three yesterday, so. Uh, still got about 40 minutes before she gets here, so. Just going to try my luck here. It was just another bluegill, sunfish, panfish, whatever you want to call it. And uh, just going to mess around, wait on her. Got one coming in, number five here. <laughs> I wouldn't even turn you on for that, but it does count, right? Look at this little thing. Oh, shoot. Man, that thing hit. I thought it was like, you know, a small catfish or something. Oh, I could use him for bait if I was out in the lake or even in deeper water. <laughs> that thing hit and I was like, oh, I gotta turn the camera on. Oh well, number five, it counts. Fish number six on here. Not very big, but it counts. <laughs> cool. Okay guys, so we just loaded up. Just now, she just got in the truck, you probably heard her. Just started raining, so I'm heading to the house and I wanna thank Monkey for my early Christmas presents. There's Monkey. Yeah, I spilled coffee on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so... I'm trying to clean it up. So she came just in time today. Didn't you, Mom? Yeah, you're lucky, because I didn't wake up until 11. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh shit, I gotta get up. Yeah, I laid around that hammock till about 10. Yeah, well, you yeah. were up late because uh, you talked to me for. Minutes. You kept waking me up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'd get that axe, and then all at once, bloom, my phone would go off, and I was able to send her back a message. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't go to bed until three. So it's good to know that where I was at, I'll be able to, you know, emergency. I cleaned house. Or whatever. Yeah. So the house is immaculate. She was having problems with her. Ugh, my project. Her project. You'll find that out. So make sure you go watch her channel. Yeah. I'm gonna go home, edit kind this. Kind of a fail. <coughs> edit this video and get a shower and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, I see my my legs laying in that bed <laughs> most of the day today. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Shea Bear, Myth, Man, Ledge. I'm gone for now. Yeah, it's raining. Here's to another year down. Time bye, Mama. Alright, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye.